looking for a way to keep your dog in shape during the long, cold winter months, or simply wanting a fun alternative to yet another boring walk, this video is for you. Over the last month, we have been testing out the PetSafe automatic ball launcher for dogs and are excited to share the results of this review with you today. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping back. I'm thrilled you are here. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie, AKA Big Dog Mom. And on this channel, I provide information and resources to help you and your big dog live your best life together. Many large dog owners here on YouTube have asked me, how can I help my dog lose weight? And for those whose dogs are at a proper weight, I often hear, how can I keep my dog fit and healthy? Whether it is losing weight or maintaining it, all of us want our big dogs to be fit and healthy. The trick is finding the right balance of food and exercise for each individual dog to make that a reality. This is just the start of my new series on the topic of weight loss and fitness for dogs. So be sure to subscribe below and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of it. In this first video, I will be focusing on the exercise component of this balancing act and sharing our complete unboxing and review of the automatic ball thrower by PetSafe. In addition to sharing some of the pros and cons of the ball thrower for large dogs, what breeds and temperaments are a best fit for this type of unique interactive dog toy, and answer your most burning question, is this automatic ball thrower worth the money for large and giant breed dogs? In the spirit of full transparency, I wanna let you know that PetSafe sent us an automatic ball launcher to test out. However, all of the information I am sharing with you today is based on our experience and my opinions, the good and and the bad. As always, the links to everything we discuss in the full blog post review are in the description box below. Before we unbox this bad boy, I wanted to spend just a minute or two on the topic of proper weight and exercise for large dogs because it is critically important, I believe, to understand the problem before viewing how a product may or may not be a solution for your particular dog. Let's begin with a short discussion about the proper weight in dogs. According to the American Animal Hospital Association, researchers found that 51% of the more than 1.9 million adult dogs in their sample were classified as overweight. Let's face it, pet obesity is an epidemic, whether we want to believe it or not. And the problem isn't simply an aesthetic one. Excess fat negatively impacts a dog's health and longevity. But how do you know if your dog is overweight? A simple question, right? As mentioned before, this is a topic I will go into much more detail in my next video. For now, I simply wanted to touch on a few rules of thumb when it comes to weight on a dog. First, according to the World Small Animal Veterinary Association, there are nine levels when it comes to body score, with a range from under ideal to over ideal body weight. If your dog is at a proper weight, right in the middle, he will have ribs that are easily palpable, but not visible, with a clear tuck up at the waist and an hourglass figure when viewed from above. Second, watch your dog when he or she is moving. Can you see a deposit of fat at the base of the tail or fat rolling from side to side as he or she is walking or running? How about your dog's stamina for exercise? Do they tire out quickly with minimal exertion? While these are just a few of the things to keep in mind when it comes to proper weight on a large dog, the fact of the matter is all dogs need exercise and most need much more than we are giving them me included. I know what you are thinking. Exercise, schmexercise. With ever increasing demands on our time, exercise for dogs and humans tends to fall pretty far down on the priority list. In fact, in 2008, the U.S. Department of Labor reported that only 16% of Americans aged 15 and older engaged in any type of exercise per day on average. This was before the domination of technology in our lives, so I have no doubt this percentage is even lower today, sadly. <laughs> exercise is an essential part of a healthy dog's life because it does a number of things. It maintains proper weight and or weight loss, builds muscle and maintains muscle tone for strength and orthopedic support, provides physical and mental stimulation for your dog. It increases your dog's longevity. It maintains a healthy digestive system, decreases destructive behaviors and boredom, 
decreases attention seeking behaviors like barking and whining, and it improves your relationship and bond building with your dog. Keep in mind, exercise doesn't have to be a three mile walk that you need to pencil into your morning routine every day. While some breeds will need this much exercise, most thrive on significantly less than that. In addition to a 30 minute brisk walk outside, weather permitting, several times a week if you can, exercising your dog indoors, especially in the winter time, has never been easier. Let's face it, neither you nor your dog enjoys five degree temperatures walking on the snow at 6 a.m. Thankfully, there's a much better way to give your dog exercise in the winter. We have been using the PetSafe automatic ball launcher for several weeks now, inside and out in the Michigan winter cold, and are excited to share how this unique interactive dog toy performed in the Big Dog Mom house. Upon unboxing, you can see what was most exciting to my Mastiffs, Junior and Sully. Yes, the tennis balls. Both Junior and Sully are crazy about ball toys. As I shared in my year-end gift guide, which I will link above, Junior and Sully prefer ball toys to just about anything else. Well, all right, that's not entirely true. They love soft plush toys with squeakers, but these are expensive and never last more than a few minutes in our house, so I rarely buy them. That said, I would consider both of my dogs pretty ball crazy. As you can see, the PetSafe Automatic Ball Launcher is an interactive dog toy that can be used either indoors or out with or without the help from the dog owner. Here are a few of the pros we found based on our experience. The unit is water resistant, particularly helpful with slobbery dogs like mine in the snow. The audible sounds are perfect for conditioning. In fact, after just a few uses, the sound of the ball thrower would, being turned on would wake my boys up from a dead sleep and cause them to run downstairs to play ball. It is lightweight and super easy to use both indoors and outdoors, and it has a motion sensor safety which protects your dog from being bucked in the head with the ball. If your dog is within seven feet of the unit, the ball won't launch. And it is completely adjustable for nearly all spaces with adjustment knobs that can change the angle in six positions and the distance from eight to 30 feet. And finally, it can be used with and without batteries, which is nice. Because no product is perfect, let's cover briefly some of the cons we experienced. Number one, there was a slight delay in the response time between the sensor and the ball throwing. We found that for Sully, this could be confusing. The tennis balls provided, like all tennis balls in my experience, lack durability for large and giant breed dogs. And third, the cost may be a deterrent for some, however, definitely keep watching this video for a more complete analysis of this product's affordability. And lastly, it does require some training if you want your dog to use the ball launcher independently. This is something that is absolutely possible and I don't believe with the right dog would be hard to do. I have not gotten to that point with either Junior or Sully, unfortunately. For now, I am their ball maid and since they refuse to come back to me, part-time fetcher upper as well. Now that we have our ball launcher unboxed, let's take a deep dive into our review and let you know what we really think of it. If you are new to Big Dog Mom, I review pet products in four categories that are particularly relevant for large dog owners and rate them on a scale from one to five paws for awesomeness. The first category is quality. How well is this product made? From seams to materials, is the product built with a beating from big dogs in mind? Number two, durability. Did the product withstand the beating from my Mastiffs, Junior and Sully? And number three, affordability. Does the quality and durability for large dog owners match the price they are asking for the product? In other words, is the product worth the price? And number four, the drool score. This is where Junior and Sully input what they think. Did the product wow them or not? With our categories defined, let's dive in to how the PetSafe Ball Launcher performed in our tests. Okay, first, quality. After using the PetSafe Ball Launcher for several weeks, inside and outside with Junior and Sully, there was nothing about the product that seemed cheap or flimsy to me. The unit itself is made of thick, lightweight plastic, and the sensors performed as expected. And there's the sensor. The two tennis balls that came with the PetSafe Ball Launcher were typical tennis balls you would buy in a sports store or pet store, so easily replaceable at little expense. 
Overall, the quality of the PetSafe automatic ball launcher is terrific, with only a minor deduction for not being manufactured in the USA. Okay, our next category is durability. How well did this product stand up to the beating from two adult Mastiffs? In order to properly review the durability of the PetSafe automatic ball launcher, we need to take each of three components one by one. First, how was the durability of the ball launcher itself, the physical unit? Based on our experience so far, we would rate the durability of the electronic ball thrower to be a five out of five pause. There was nothing about the physical unit that I feel would break down when used with larger giant breed dogs, since the dogs aren't actually touching it. The second component to the PetSafe ball launcher are the sensors and knobs. The sensor performs two important functions, sensing the ball in the thrower and sensing the dog's distance from the thrower. Beyond those, the ball launcher can be customized to adjust the angle of the ball being thrown and the distance you want it to go. Simply adjust the tennis ball dial on the side to launch between 8 and 30 feet and the second paw-shaped knob uh, to adjust between six different angle settings. In the weeks that we have been playing with the PetSafe ball launcher, we did not experience any issues with either the sensor or the adjustment knobs. Additionally, the manual states that for optimal performance, the temperature needs to be above 33 degrees. We had it outside when it was a sunny 21 degree day and had zero issues. Mm -hmm. So for this component, we award the ball launcher a five out of five pause for durability which leads me to the last component, the balls. Sadly, this is where we experienced a slight breakdown when used with giant breed dogs. The two tennis balls that came with the ball launcher are your typical green tennis balls. The kind Junior and Sully love a little too much. <laughs> These balls were saturated with slobber and split in half within the first day of playing with them. This was no surprise to Big Dog Mom. I came prepared with a few more durable options, which I will describe in more detail in just a minute. So for the simple fact that the balls were not durable for giant breed dogs, I am deducting half a paw of awesomeness. It would be a full paw or more, but I was able to find a workaround that proved to be more than sufficient for my big dogs. With that, let's move on to affordability. At the price point of over $150, the PetSafe Ball Launcher is an investment. It is not a purchase made on a whim, especially for large dog owners who live in a state of skepticism when it comes to toys for their big dogs. So here's where I landed when it comes to affordability and how I would weigh this purchase decision. If you have a large dog that fits one or more of the following criteria, I would rate the PetSafe Ball Launcher as a solid five out of five paws. Number one, a super ball crazy dog that lives for playing with a ball over any other toy. A dog that has a soft mouth and doesn't seek to destroy balls is a highly trainable breed that can be taught to bring the ball back and drop it in the thrower. A dog that needs to lose weight or is prone to gaining weight and enjoys running after balls. A dog that is not bothered by beeps and sounds. A dog that is a puppy, especially if it is less than 16 weeks and you are looking for a fun, stimulating activity with which to socialize him or her. And lastly is one of the following breeds. is a Labrador Retriever, a Golden Retriever, or other breed of Retriever, a German Shepherd, a Doberman Pinscher, any breed of Pointer, any breed of Shepherd or Setter, or any ball crazy Mollusser breed as well. If your dog fails to meet any of the above criteria, I would rate the affordability of the ball launcher a solid four out of five. For dogs that simply don't enjoy balls or ball games, this is not the product for you. While I have never had a dog like this, I am sure they are out there, I start all of my puppies with ball games so they learn to love this sort of exercise and activity. For your reference, I would rate the affordability of the PetSafe electronic ball launcher a 5 out of 5 paws for Selly and a pretty solid 4 out of 5 paws for Junior. When it comes to exercise for large dogs, the ball launcher was perfect for Sully. He genuinely loved running and chasing after the balls and the interaction with the ball launcher itself. Junior, on the other hand, would wait at the other end of the room for the balls to come to him. This obviously defeats the purpose of the ball launcher being used for weight loss or any form of meaningful exercise for him when used indoors. 
That said, when we put the batteries in and headed outside, Junior came alive. While he stayed a distance from the ball thrower, he paid close attention to where the balls were going and happily ran after them. And with that, let's move on to our fourth and final category, Junior and Sully's drool score. Okay, the PetSafe ball launcher was a huge hit in the Big Dog Mom house. Not only did the dogs love it, but my kids really enjoyed turning it on and playing with the dogs as well. This is a double bonus in my book, a product that exercises my big dogs and my kids. <laughs> As I mentioned above, Sully went crazy over the ball launcher. So crazy, in fact, he would stand by the ball launcher and bark at it to throw the ball already. <laughs> this presented the challenge of getting him to stand back far enough that the sensor would allow the ball to get thrown. When the dog is within seven feet of the sensor, it won't throw. So poor Sully still hasn't figured that out and needs a little training on where to stand. And while Junior is even more ball crazy than Sully, as I just mentioned, he was a little lazy when it came to the ball launcher indoors. Part of the reason could have been our slippery floors where I have the ball launcher set up. With wobbler syndrome and hip dysplasia, the slippery floors definitely present a challenge for him. He was more interested in waiting for the ball to come to him and then unfortunately chewing the ball in half. <laughs> Using the automatic ball launcher outside proved to be much easier on him, as I mentioned before, and more productive in terms of actual exercise. And lastly, the balls you choose matter a lot. As expected, the tennis balls didn't last at all with my dogs. Tennis balls are put together with a seam in the middle that is instantaneously split under the chewing force of a big dog mouth. My boys don't set out to destroy balls, they just do. <laughs> While the product manual states to only use the supplied tennis balls, I did violate this precaution to see if I could find a better solution for big dogs. I stopped into our local pet store and picked out a few more engaging and more durable ones. The two versions that have held up so far were a Kong squeeze ball and one called Playology. Junior and Sully go insane over anything that squeaks or makes noise, so those were a much better fit for us. I highly recommend getting these two balls if you decide to purchase the PetSafe automatic ball launcher for your big dog. And now for the question of the day. Does your large dog like to play with ball toys? If so, do you think this is a product that he or she would enjoy? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, the links to the PetSafe automatic ball launcher and everything else we discussed, including my full blog post review, are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already, and consider hitting that like button if you enjoyed this review. And with that, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in our next video. Bye for now. Is it? Oh, oh. here it comes.